Hey there, if you're thinking about using Plesk to manage your website server, well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Hostinger Academy, and today I will be showing you the basics of how to use it on your VPS. Let's dive in. So Plesk is essentially a personal assistant for server management. It's a super handy tool that brings everything together, setting up websites, email, and managing databases. And it does it all with an easy to use interface too. Now, if you're already using Hostinger's web hosting, you get something similar called HPanel, which has all the essentials covered. But since VPS hosting is self-managed, you may want a third-party control panel, especially if you're a beginner. So let's take a closer look at how to actually use Plesk. Okay, so first you'll need a VPS hosting plan. Navigate to hostinger.com slash VPS hosting or click the link in the description below the video. Then choose a plan that suits you best. This time we'll go with KVM2 plan, which can power small to medium websites. Next, choose the subscription period you want. Pick the 24 month bundle for the best deal. Now, create your hosting account by entering your email over here, or you can connect with your Google account. Select the payment method, fill in the required data over here, and make sure you apply this VPS 10 coupon code for an extra 10% discount. Okay, once your payment is all confirmed, you'll need to complete the initial onboarding. First, choose the server location with the lowest latency for optimal performance. Then look up Plesk in the search bar. Scroll until you see Alma Linux 8-bit with Plesk and click on it. Here, tick the box to install the Monarch's malware scanner on your server and create a strong password for it. Okay, hit continue over here. Now, review your server information and make sure everything is right and click finish setup. Once the server creation is finished, you'll need to buy the Plesk license. If you plan to use your VPS for a web hosting business, go for the web host option for unlimited domains and reseller management. The web admin and web pro plans are more suitable for personal or business websites, offering 30 and 10 domains respectively. Now, just complete the payment and that is it. We're done with the initial server configuration and can now access the Plesk dashboard. First, open the VPS main dashboard on HPanel to get your IP address information. Then open a new tab in your browser, paste your VPS IP address in the address bar and add colon 8443. Here, enter your VPS username and password and you'll be taken to the main dashboard. In this video, we'll be using the power user interface, which is designed for personal use. If you bought the web host license, the interface will be slightly different, but should have all the same dashboard areas. The sidebar shows all the items you can manage, including websites, domains, email accounts, and Plesk settings. Next, the main menu will display the selected item settings, such as your website's database and file manager shortcuts. And finally, the top bar contains a search bar, the logged in username, notifications, and of course, a help button. All right, with Plesk all set up, it's time to add a new domain. And if you don't have one yet, no problem. You can get one super quickly by visiting our domain name generator tool. You'll find the link in the description below the video. Now, from your Plesk dashboard, click Add Domain in the Websites and Domains menu. Choose the type of website you're creating and enter your domain name. Then fill in the required information such as your domain name and web space settings and click Add Domain to confirm. Plesk will now display your new domain's configuration menu. If you click on a domain name, the menu will expand into a bunch of options for files, databases, dev tools, and security. We also have the hosting and DNS tab with info about your DNS. You'll need this info to point your domain name to your server. If you're not quite sure that you can tackle the challenge, you can check out our video guide on how to do that. Now, by opening this mail tab, you can access the email settings such as managing email accounts, enabling the service and applying SSL certificates. For instance, if you wanna create a new email address, select mail accounts and click this button. Here, enter your desired local part, set a new password, and finish by clicking OK. If you want to manage email services for multiple domain names, you can do that from the mail menu too. OK, now let's set up a website with Plesk. There are a few ways to do this though, depending on if you've built your site with code, a site editor, or a CMS. Plesk works with a bunch of popular CMS options, including WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. In this video though, we will focus on WordPress since it's popular and Plesk has some handy tools to make the setup even easier. Okay, so first, make sure that the latest PHP settings are enabled. 
either not, just tick the box and hit the apply button at the bottom of the page. Next, navigate to the applications menu, select all available applications, find WordPress from the list, enter the information and click install. Once that's done, you'll be redirected to the WordPress configuration page. Now, to access the WP Toolkit for Plesk, click the WordPress icon on your domain name. Here you can manage databases, plugins, themes, and SSL certificates. And this login button will take you to the website's admin area. Plesk also has a file manager, so you don't need an FTP client and a website staging tool to test changes before deploying them to the live page. When it comes to Plesk server management, you can modify its settings directly from the tools and settings menu. Here you can limit administration features such as action log, remote API, server reboot, and IP restriction management. You can also configure permissions for hosting, PHP, web server, mailing, and DNS management. For instance, let's change the user's permissions via restricted mode settings, which will prevent unauthorized changes. Simply tick the features you want to allow for the administrator, click the Enable Restricted Mode box, and finish by clicking Apply. Other than that, you can also create a backup of your server settings and user data with a few clicks. Start by choosing Backup Manager from the same tools and settings menu. Now, you will see a list of your previous backups, which you can click to restore the data. To create a new one, you only need to click this Backup button. For website analytics, Plesk lets you integrate Grafana and Plesk 360. To use Plesk 360, you have to sign in and connect to your account. For Grafana, just navigate to Monitoring and click Use Built-in Monitoring. From this screen, you can monitor your service disk usage, running services, memory consumption, and network load. And that's it for the basic stuff. Now, let's check out some of the more advanced Plesk features. For advanced users, Plesk also includes a command line interface for integrating and managing third-party applications. To use it, connect to your Plesk server using SSH and run this command from any directory. So, for example, running this command will give all action log entries from a specific date until today in a JSON format. The Plesk extensions catalog also has tons of add-ons for web development, security, server tools, or site editing. If you want to install an add-on, just go to the extensions, search for the tool you need, and click Get It Free. Some of them will be paid though, and you can buy them directly from the Plesk dashboard. And that's all there is to it to start using Plesk, so go ahead and try it out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Leave us a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe to Hosting Guru Academy's YouTube channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more VPS videos like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.